Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So one of the great things about hopefully coming to the end of this pandemic is that things are starting to move again. Uh, Genoa is starting to look more normal. Uh, it's actually quite quiet right now, ironically, but five minutes ago, this was full of people. I think they must all be going home for dinner, but uh, the restaurants are open again. There's some dodgy music getting played over there and super yachts are coming in again. Since I was last here, we had Queen Miri here, if you remember, the pizzas and all that stuff. Now this is the same berth. This is, uh, this is another boat. There's a uh, Motia Octo is down there. Symphony came in yesterday, I believe. I missed her arriving, but uh, Symphony is a big ship. She's 101 meters, 101.5 meters. And she was built in 2015 by Fedship. Now, she was the largest vessel built by Fedship at the time. And she was so big, in fact, that they had trouble getting her through the waterways because they're built in the Netherlands and they build them inland, believe it or not, at these, uh, these facilities. And then they take them down rivers to get out to open sea. And they had some trouble with, with Symphony because she was so big. Some people class this vessel as being eco-friendly. I think that's a, a contentious phrase to use because it can provoke a lot of negative comments from people. What I would say is this vessel is, because of it has a, it has a normal twin screw propulsion plus a battery bank, which so it's basically a hybrid and the batteries are charged by the engines and then the batteries uh, are able, you're able to use it to either sit at anchor without using the generators or to travel a short distance. Uh, if you use them together, it's 30% more efficient than a vessel of this size without those battery banks. So it's a more fuel efficient yacht than an equal lot yacht of this size that doesn't have that technology on board. So a big girl like this, she's got big fuel tanks. She has 256,000 litre fuel tanks. That's 68,000 US gallons. And that will get her uh, five and a half thousand nautical miles. So to give you an idea of distance, Gibraltar to the Caribbean is about 3,000, uh, 3,400 miles. And this can do five and a half thousand miles without refueling. So that's plenty. Uh, that's about 14 knots. She's got a top speed of 22 knots. But at 14 knots, she can cruise for five and a half thousand nautical miles. That's a, that's a pretty big fuel tank. So Symphony was built to the passenger yacht code. Now, if you, if you remember, I've mentioned it in a few, a few different uh, videos. Normally the limit on a, on a super yacht, even of this size is 12 guests. That's based on the normal yacht code. But the passenger yacht code uh, is an in-between the commercial code and the normal large yacht code. And that allows up to 36 guests to be on underway. This vessel has, I believe, a capacity of 20 guests underway. And when I say underway, I mean that you can obviously, if you're in port like this, you can invite, you know, 50 friends on board, but you can't sail with 50 friends. You, you only, you're only allowed legally to have uh, as many as the as the as the the code that the vessel is built to says you can. And in this particular instance, it can have 36, but it has a capacity, has enough cabins for 20 people, I believe. Uh, facilities on board has a, a helicopter landing pad as you do um, it has a massive screen that's in the elevator so as you go up in the elevator there's a screen that is the whole length of the elevator and it ha actually is interactive so even when you're in the elevator you're entertained <laughs> which is quite crazy she also has a swimming pool with a glass bottom uh, also has a waterfall built in to the swimming pool, which is uh, which is quite interesting. Um, waterfall on a super yacht. All right, so what else can we see? We can see there's a lot of big windows, uh, which is great uh, for the for the people on the inside. Here you've got see you can see all this cut out here. This is will fall down, and it's probably uh, stairs that will take you down to the water, uh, so you can get into a tender. Uh, so this will all open out like this and then there's a door on the inside. So that's what all of these cutouts are for here. Um, it's a kind of mooring station kind of deal. 
And then if you look down here, you've got uh, more portholes that run all the way along the vessel. Uh, I believe that's the galley. You look, uh, looking close there, it looks like the galley. And this is usually, if you look at any soup yacht, uh, when you look down at the waterline, you'll find that this is usually where the crew are. Uh, so you've got a galley, you'll probably have a crew mess, and then if I keep going further forward, you'll probably find there are crew cabins there. Anything below, anything on the waterline, uh, usually is to do with the crew. And, and the stuff that's higher up will be probably guest cabins. Uh, and uh, when you go higher up, you'll probably have the master cabin, will probably be on a higher deck and then there's, there's all, all those gas cabins will be on this deck here. Plus you'll have uh, most likely um, main areas here. So up here on bridge deck, there's an outdoor cinema. So they, I don't know what kind of outdoor cinema it doesn't say, but it'll either be a projector that comes up, uh, uh, sorry, a, a screen that comes up with a projector, or it could be like a giant television. All right guys, that was an unexpected uh, look. I, I came down here when I saw that it was in. I wasn't planning on coming down, so I did, I did a quick uh, video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Um, hope you found it informative. Be sure to like it if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will try and film this vessel on the move at some point. I've got some footage actually of it in the past and I've seen it um, uh, at anchor outside Monaco. So I'll put that in, but I hope you liked the video. Uh, and um, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time. All right guys, bye-bye.